Good morning. Hypersonic missiles are a new arms race, and our analysts have known for years that China is already way ahead. Now we know that Russia and Iran also have successful hypersonic missile programs. The emphasis in Congress and at the Pentagon is how we're going to close this gap and catch up and develop our own hypersonic systems. But that is missing the point. The point is that China and Russia and Iran have hypersonic missiles, and lots of them. And that's all that matters, because these missiles cannot be intercepted. China is the world leader in the development, testing, and deployment of hypersonic missiles ahead of Russia. And the United States doesn't have any. The Air Force and Army hope to have them in the field a few years ago. But the Air Force changed their minds on what they wanted and started all over. And the U.S. Army's program has been delayed by years. In the case of the U.S. Navy, they shut one of their programs down completely. Their plans were for a hypersonic anti-ship missile, but halted the program because of cost and industrial base factors. In other words, we don't have the supply chains or the industrial capacity to build them. And if we did, they would still cost too much. Those programs, though, were for offensive hypersonic missiles. The United States and NATO countries don't have any, and they can't build them even if they knew which ones could work. Meanwhile, China has hundreds of them. We now know that Russia also has them. The Ereshnik is a hypersonic missile which was used for the first time late last year in Ukraine. And Russia has just announced that the Ereshniks are now in mass production.